Hi guys. Um, no, this is not another episode of Gay Human Target. <laughs> this is just something that's being shared. I felt that actually it was necessary to share the aftermaths. Um, if you were a Twitter follower, um, it didn't work out. I wasn't really hoping for um romance <laughs> as more as um, an answer. I have a real problem with um men who can't answer because it's the uncertainty that bothers me. You know, I'm I feel better with a no or a Bitch, get away from me, or, um, dude, you screaming psychotic, would you please get away from me before I throw a restraining order on you? <sighs> yeah, I'd be, i prefer that. Me, I'd be like, whoa, yeah, all right, great, yeah, I, I, I get your point. Perfect, yep, yeah, back you go. Well, and yet, no communication whatsoever. And that's what bothers me the most about most men. When you ask them up front, they freeze. They don't do anything, they clam up, and then by the time they realize it, it's already too late. I'm glad I did it, though. Maybe it'll show some other person, you know, just the kind of person I am. And as much as it could be laughed upon, it's one quality that I have that most men don't. I'm me. I am proud to be me. I'm proud for what I stand for. I'm proud for basically what I have. Less than two years ago, actually a little bit more than two years ago, I'm, so, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I, when I finished low rent sabbatical, the epilogue and everything, everybody knew I was taking off and I was running out of the state of New Jersey. I made a run for it. I decided to go in Fort Lauderdale, there's the place to go. Try to get a whole new start over. I mean, from scratch. Home and shelters and all. I had less than a certain sum of money in my hand. <sighs> so many years later, here I am. With actually the support of one other person, we're trying to work on this. You know, try to work it out, we're trying to work on it. We still have our matches, but he understands me, and I understand him. He also understands what's necessary and what needs to be done. He respects it. Two years ago, I was this close from spinning around on Johnny's on the <laughs> fucking goddamn pole. Instead, I was just like, ah, let me work the homeless shelter bit. Big mistake. And that's another story I'll share. It's called the Cossack Foundation. <laughs> yeah. Just going in is a total nightmare. But I'll share that story another time. We'll talk about homeless shelters and the welfare system and the Catch-22 situation. I think that's another important topic that needs to be shared. But right now, um, there was somebody that actually did eat, was it actually post a comment on YouTube? Just to warn you, I will be getting to your comment. I just want to say the right thing to say before I go ahead putting my foot in my mouth like I always do. 
but I do find your question, actually, I, I recorded it. I, I have a tendency to record things and listen to it. Like, what is it? Um, the Institution of Marriage. I had to actually record it and then voice it out and then record it and voice it out two, three times before I did the whole entire skit. That's good stuff. I felt that the question was very, very direct, very interesting. It provoked what I wanted to actually say and then it tried to tweak it and engage it in such a way that that actually the person who asked it would completely understand. Give me some time to actually answer the question. It should be a day or so. I want to answer this. I'm hoping the best way I can. Remember, I'm not the most educated person in the world. I barely made it past high school. So give me a break here. But I will tell you this. Being a convicted felon. It's a bitch. I could have been put away for 15 years. The 38 days of jail that I had was um, just county jail. It was a waiting period until my trial. When my trial came, it was a closed trial. And also, they found out that the man or lover that I had, the abuser, started stalking me. Three years probation. There's a lot to talk about before I answer this question, so... It's, it's hard. I have to give myself my own hope and be my own savior, and that's a real hard trick to do. But what if, what is life for if not meant to live, right? Anyway, I'm going to try to keep myself engaged. Me and my friend are talking about a little deal in um, Cross Fingers, moving me to New York, or at least close to it. Trying to find a place. I want to try to, I don't know if they're going to pick me, but I highly doubt it. I mean, come on, I'm a little, <laughs> at least most people think so. Um, if they don't have it, or somebody else is planning on doing it, I don't know if there's any way I can help with it. Maybe going to the center over in New York and trying to start one there. I'm going to try. I keep getting doors slammed in my face, but I'm going to try. I mean, come on. Next convict who's now trying to do this. Hey, maybe I can get McGree to kind of back me up. Not in that tense. Taking that the wrong way. Might have to cut. Also to look forward to it, I'm planning on going to a couple of social events. You know, maybe I'll do some Hugh Haskell or Haskell, you know, speed dating thing for, you know, Lex convicts or something. I don't know, or convict or felons or shit, shit like that. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe um, Colton Steele will teach me how to use a gun. And let me tell you something about my feelings about guns. I don't like guns. I don't like them. I don't like them in my house. I don't like them anywhere around me. I am not a gun fanatic. I am not a gun person. But... 
I would like to know how to fire one. I would like to know how to at least be able to fire it. Because God forbid if someone turns a gun on me and I'm unable to knock it out of their hand, I don't want to be the person with the gun in my hand and not know how to fire it. It's always good to know. I'm always about the self-defense. I'm always about being prepared, or at least trying to be the best to be prepared. You have to anticipate. Anticipation is, is key here. It's factor. Also, um, love Tyrant? Yes, I am. I'm doing this. I'm doing this for my boys. I don't want any boy, I don't want any boy, any man to suffer like I have to. I guess that's enough to say. Is it worth it? I have no idea. I'll find out when I get on my deathbed and be able to tell my story to somebody else. But right now, you just got to progress to the next moment, the next minute, the next second. You have to live those long, ill, faithless eras. But you have to perceive it in such a way that actually you have to learn how to flip it. Because reality sucks. Reality fucking sucks. This is the reason why everybody is half side or one side. I'm sorry. They show one personality. And then they have the nerve to call somebody else crazy or schizophrenic. I'm not that way. That's not how I operate. As for um, Mr. Johnny Hazard, never again will you hear from me, will you see me, will I go to any event that you're at. Thank you for making me feel this way. Thank you for making me engage in figuring out what I have to do. I hope that you're off and I hope you, you know, you find somebody. I do. But it damn well ain't gonna be me. I deserve better. I deserve a man that actually will tell me whether he likes it or not that will tell me the truth to my face, that will come up to me and talk to me. Not ignore me. Thanks for the reality check. I wish you love humor.